getting rid of these old ceramic going with the new updated stainless so you just cut around and if you had a if you got a hard fist you can hit it with your fist or with a hammer in this case my fish is too strong so it ripped out the uh, some of the, uh, the sheetrock there the paint on the sheetrock there we go <clears throat> this is antique Let's do this one. Make sure you got a sharp blade. You gotta cut through that old paint, you know. Had to do what I had to do. Had no other choice. No other choice. Know what I mean? Now let's clean this up and proceed on. Top holes are covered. I used a piece of this uh, wood, cut a piece, put it back here on both sides. I'm gonna do the same here. So you put a uh, screw there, so you can pull back as you're screwing in the uh, piece of wood in the back. That with the sheet rock to hold in place. See that? Now I'm about to screw this one down. So I hold it and I drill this in. Just make sure the head of the uh, screw, it's uh, it's flushed in, so that way when you put the uh, plaster over it, you could cover it. <sighs> Don't do it too much or too hard, because you'll go you'll bust right through the uh, sheetrock. Uh, now we can remove this one. Uh, 
All right. The toilet paper area is covered. Everything's covered up. Now I'm going to be putting a little bit of plaster. I'm going to put some tape on it first. And we'll be using the mesh style. And uh, start off with putting a little bit of light uh, plaster on it. Plasters on. That's a uh, thin coat with the uh, mesh on it. Let that dry for a bit. Sand it down a little bit and then just touch it up again. Give it another, um, another pass of uh, plaster. Threw in a piece of, uh, decided to mix it on, on top of this. I'm using a piece of uh, scrap sheetrock. That way I can mix it a little better, you know. I already uh, sanded it down. big one That looks pretty good. Let's do this one now. Keep it flat, flat as you can.
got a piece of hair. That looks good. That's good. When this once this is dry, give it a little like a little light sanding. That's good. I'm going to leave that alone. Let's do the bottom. go flat and firm you're trying to press it in as you're gliding try to make it as flat as possible and try to feather it that way you don't have a lump in one area
pass your hand on it, make sure it's smooth, no bumps. Okay, the wall is done. I also did this wall. It was white, it was white. So next I'll be putting up the uh, the stainless steel towel holder <clears throat> and the uh, toilet paper holder. There we go. Alright guys, the way I did it, I uh, just did it like pretty uh, straightforward. What I did was I put the level on the wall. Put it more or less at the height that I want it, right here. See where that top line is? A little line. I'll show you what that mark is in the field. So I just did it. Went like that. Got the level straight. Then I just place the bar straight under this, under the level. Then I just, uh, what I did was I held on to the bar and I removed the level, but kept on holding the bar in place. I just kept on holding it. See those two, t uh, those top lines right there? That's the top of this here, right there. Like that. Uh, 
or whatever. I just held it there. Right flushed against the uh, the level. Removed the level and then I just marked the top here. Right there. I removed it. Then I just uh, place this here. This is a piece that's going to go uh, screw down to the wall. See that? What I did was I measured from that line up here, this line here. Where it was flush against the uh, level, measures from there to the first hole. Then I did the same thing here. That's it, plain and simple. Same thing here. So now I'm just gonna drill a hole here, and I'm gonna pass these through there. I'm gonna be using these here. All right, so just uh, these are uh, much stronger than your regular uh, plastic anchor. So I'm just going to go with these. hit but I ran the screw through there first and I didn't hit it hit anything so we'll soon find out now look at what happened here good thing I didn't drill too hard up here there's a C there's a CPVC pipe for the water for the water line in uh, for the shower in the other the other side so good thing I didn't keep drilling so I just drilled below it's still at a good height so I'll just leave it there I gotta fix this up all right so I'm clear here in the bottom ones and like I said I'm still at a good height so this is how it's gonna go Alright, so once you put them in place, see I had done another line up there. Once you put them in place before you tighten them up uh, as they should go, just you can put the level on it again. See, and right now I'm in the center. Towel holder is done. I'll be doing the uh, toilet paper holder in a little in a few days, not today. Uh, covered the holes. Tomorrow I'll be uh, sanding it down a bit and I'll just uh, touch it up. Nice and straight. It 
and my job gets a thumbs up from myself at least later